live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Oracle Modern Customer Experience 2017. Brought to you by Oracle. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're live here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center for the Oracle Modern Customer Experience Conference. This is theCUBE's special coverage. I'm John Furrier, joined by my co-host, Peter Burris, head of research at wikibon.com. Our next guest is Roland Smart, Vice President of Social and Community at Oracle, and also the author of the Agile Marketer book, which we'll get into in a minute. He'll hold it up so you can make sure you get it. It's also available on audio books. You can hold it up, go ahead. The Agile Marketer, turning customer experiences into your competitive advantage. Roland, welcome to theCUBE. Hey, Good to see you. Thanks so much for the invite. Great to have that book there because it sets the table for what we want to talk about, which is we love cloud. We've been loving DevOps since the, since the cloud hit the mm -hmm. scene you know, years and years ago, but now that's going mainstream, it's going into marketing. You're seeing marketing cloud. Yep. It really opens up this notion of agile and changing things, modern platforms. The replatforming, we heard Mark heard on the keynote, we've heard our, through our interviewings. There's a mm -hmm. replatforming going on in the enterprise across the board. Yeah. And so it's super exciting. I know that you're also doing some cool stuff, modernization inside Oracle. Yeah. Deploying Oracle Cloud for Oracle, it's pretty comprehensive. So let's start there. What's your role at Oracle? It's kind of broad, social and community, which yeah. is cutting edge and being operationalized in real time. What are you yeah. working on? Yeah, so I've worn a couple different hats in my tenure at Oracle. I've been with the company for about four years. I was one of those marketers who came into the company through an acquisition of a social technology company. And so I, I ended up uh, landing in the corporate marketing group. And um, I've, I've, as I said, done a couple different things. I, I've uh, led the Oracle technology network for a while. Um, I was involved in uh, establishing and, and upgrading our corporate social programs, but right now, I'm really, really focused on some modernization initiatives. And those are very connected to our inbound marketing practice. So that means taking some of these amazing solutions that are part of the Oracle Marketing Cloud and implementing them for the corporate marketing group. Um, the ones that are really core uh, to, to where my focus are, because it's an inbound uh, marketing focus, it's um, Compendium, which is our content publishing pro, uh, platform. Of course, we also integrate that with Eloqua for subscription, and there are other adjacent technologies that we're going to use to improve the service, things like Maximizer, which will allow us to iterate and do testing and improve the service over time. Um, and of course, integrating into all the other um, major parts of the corporate marketing stack, which includes you know, a DMP and a customer experience database and all the rest. So here at the show, you're seeing um, marketing cloud kind of being broader defined because it's the customer on a digital life cycle, yep. no analog, I mean, from inception to the moment of truth, the experience is digital. Yep. It changes things a bit. What, are, what is your observation that you could point to as you look at these changes that are going on? Um, tweaks here, radical changes there. What's the big shift? What's the digital value in that digital journey of a customer when it comes to marketing? I mean, it seems that marketing's involved in all touch points. It is, I mean, I think, um, so I, I think you're talking a little bit about the fact that digital transformation is kind of dominating the marketer's consciousness at the moment, right? We're very, very focused on um, really transitioning the experiences that we deliver and to engage with customers into a digital environment. And that means that, you know, there's two sides of that. Of course, there's the technology side, but there's also the practices side. I think that um, a lot of the conversation to date has really been dominated by uh, just an incredible proliferation of marketing technology. The MarTech stack, right, is growing at an incredible pace. One of the things that I see, for example, It's almost is that daunting, it's huge. It is. It's and growing and churning. And there's still much more proliferation in the MarTech space than there is consolidation, even with companies like Oracle acquiring just an incredible number of companies in a relatively short period of time. We've built this amazing stack, but still, there's um, you know, a lot of venture dollars that are still chasing unmet needs Right? There are niches that aren't being met. And th that says something about the overall maturity of the marketing stack, right? So we're still um, fairly early days um, in that process. And the technology, what's interesting is the technology piece in some ways is actually easier than the process change and the culture change that is associated with actually um, trying to be, develop a strong competency when it comes to these digital channels. So, so you know, I think of there's an agile transformation that needs to take place as the, the digital transformation takes place, and that is really focused on 
that cultural change and the way that we work so that we can get the most value out of these digital channels. One of the things that I would just add about an agile transformation though is that I think it is a little bit broader than just digital transformation in the sense that you can apply agile to analog channels as well. It's more of an approach or a philosophy, a way to, of working that happens to be um, the best practice when it comes to digital platforms, right? Because Agile came out of the software development world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Agile's not new. Agile really started over 15 years ago when the Agile Manifesto was written um, by some very, very smart software developers. In the last 15 years, it's become the dominant approach to software development, but beyond that, product management has adopted it. And it's a big part of what has led to the empowerment of product management leaders, I think, is the most influential leader at the most influential uh, or innovative companies in the world, right? Yeah. So I think marketers have an opportunity to take a page from that book as, of course, marketers are managing more software than ever before, mm -hmm. right? And as we transition to a world in which we're moving away from this campaign-oriented mindset where there's a campaign that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and more towards a product or program-oriented mindset where there's an ongoing um, It's an always-on environment. It's an always-on environment where we need to continually iterate and evolve that experience. Yeah, and I think that is the key. I mean, your book you held up called The Agile Marketer. Yeah. It really it does make sense, and I truly believe this, and, and people who know me, I always rant on this, but um, I believe that Agile and these principles that are well-founded in practice, and certainly on the software development side, yes. are moving into data and apps and ultimately uh, content and marketing and all the stuff that's in the platform because yeah. it's the same trajectory, <laughs> it's the same concepts. Yeah. You're doing things uh, that require speed, there's a user component, app component, yep. this technology involves, there's a lot of moving parts but, but that's all threading together. No is doubt. That, is, that I mean, the, is that what the book is touching on? Talk about the book. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, so uh, we touched on some of the reasons why marketers are coming to Agile. One of them is just kind of a no-brainer, we're managing more software than ever before, right? I think. Um, I don't think anybody's going to argue about that. I think there are some second order things though that you touched on with your comments there that are worth calling out. So, um, you know, marketers, well, first off, Agile is really an approach or a philosophy which is predicated on this idea that we're working in context where it's very difficult to predict the future. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of disruption. So the traditional methods that we've used, waterfall, which is really, waterfall is based on our ability to predict the future, right? create a perfect strategy that's going to unfold over a <laughs> period of time. But I, I would challenge you to talk to any marketer here and ask them what marketing plan that they've developed that survived implementation more than three months, right? Marketers are working in this environment with this tremendous amount of change. So, Well, Peter uh, and I were talking about the intro about the role of data, and I'll give you a case in point, is yeah. that when um, it's to be agile and to be fast and be, um, I won't say command and control, but to use that metaphor is, yeah. the CEO or le business leader or even someone in the trenches, a, a hero or an innovator, says, wow, there's an opportunity to move the needle, uh, innovate or whatever they, yep. they see, and because some data insight surfaces insight, and they go, wow, that changes everything. Deploy X, Y, and Z, right. or tweak w this. Let's do something small, validate if we're heading in the right direction quickly, and then if we get a signal that says, hey, there's something that's working here, we'll invest yeah. more and iterate, and it, it really removes waste from the, from the process of developing marketing programs, right? This, well, this is the thing, I think you're onto something with this, and this is what we talk about in the cloud words. In, in cloud, we, we hear things like standing up servers. Yeah. Okay, st <laughs> yep. horizontally scalable. In marketing, yep. it's stand up that campaign now. Yep which you might have an hour notice. <laughs> Imagine yeah. rolling up and standing up a, a multi-geography multi campaign in an hour. Right. That should be doable. So, absolutely, and I think, so going back to some of those second order things, one of the things that marketers are challenged to do is, if we want to stand up a campaign, you know, it's not just that the marketer's world is changing more quickly, right? Product management ad adopted Agile because their, their world is moving very quickly. So if you have a situation where product management is deploying something on a monthly basis or even on a daily basis, right? Marketing needs to work at that same pace. And so Agile can be a collaboration layer where because they speak the same language and share a similar process, they can yeah. stay in sync. When, when you do that, um, you can do you can deliver experiences that kind of blur the boundary between what I would call traditional marketing mm -hmm. and what we think of as product, right? Yeah. This is a really interesting space, and in, in I would say some, one of the most fun spaces where yeah. I've ever had the opportunity to work is when you can blur that boundary. And 
So having Agile means um, not just that we can deploy you know, our own uh, programs quickly and test them quickly and validate that we're heading in the right direction, but it means that we can do that in close collaboration with our product management peers. And really, that's where you get to incredible value. Well, one of the reasons why it's diffused into product management as aggressively as it has is because increasingly the products are being rendered as services that have significant yes. digital components to them. Yep. You mentioned the idea of philosophy, and it's kind of an interesting case to show how the agile philosophy has hopped from software development into products yep. is now into marketing. Um, my observation, I want to see, test this with you and see if you, if this is, uh, if you have anything to add, yeah. is that the agile philosophy is founded on three core principles. Um, one is that you have to be empirical, two is that you have to be iterative, mm -hmm. and three is that you have to be opportunistic. Now you can add others like you got to be people focused and you got to recognize time bound, et cetera, yep. and all those types of things, but if, as you look at marketing, is marketing starting to adopt that notion of you got to be empirical, you got to be iterative, and you got to be opportunistic? You can't, you can't you know, hold on to your babies, so to speak. Is that yeah. kind of what's at the, at the base of some of this new philosophical changes, or are you seeing some other things as well? Yeah, so I mean, I think you've definitely touched on some of the drivers. Uh, I think that there are um, something that I would recommend people who, marketers who are interested in, uh, in Agile should check out a document called the um, Agile Marketing Manifesto, which interprets the Agile Manifesto for marketers. And like the Agile Manifesto, it has a set of values and a set of underlying principles. And uh, the three things that you, that you called out um, relate pretty tightly to um, some of the values that are ba uh, baked into the Agile Manifesto and the Agile Marketing Manifesto. I think um, you know, one of the central ideas is that because we can't predict the future, we need to do, or we're operating in sort of a chaotic domain where you know, we're in at this domain where there's unknown unknowns. We don't really know how people are going to react. We, we can't predict that well. And so we need to get into this different modality or mindset where we say, you know what, instead of trying to build a perfect strategy, we're just going to do lots of small things. We're going to test things. We're going to validate that we're heading in the right direction or not. Test empirical. Yeah, that's all about the um, testing and, and validation with empirical data. The iterative. Yep. And then you just keep iterating on that and zeroing in on product market fit or, or the you know the value that the program yeah, the option is. seems best, which is the opportunistic. And there, there are yeah. others as well, but but are marketers having a hard time doing that? Or are do you in Yeah, your well it's a pretty significant change. Yeah, it's a very significant change, right? M most marketers are um, grew up with or started their career with waterfall. And water waterfall is still very dominant. So if you were to look, for example, what is the, what in, in the context of, or in the parlance of crossing the chasm, where are we um, with agile marketing, right? I think we've crossed that. We're, 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 I think we're at a place where we see early adopters who are out there really prov um, proving value, uh, but the pragmatists in the marketplace, the people who adopt something because they're getting on the bandwagon, because their peers are doing it, it's not there yet. It's on their radar, but it's not there yet. What, what I see happening is that there's, we're just at the beginning of starting an ecosystem that is going to support um, taking Agile more mainstream. So what I mean is, if, if you look at, for example, the biggest consulting, management consulting firms, the McKinsey's, the Bain's, right? Yep. They ha are now building out agile transformation practices that are coupled to their digital transformation practice, right, that already exists and has existed for a while. If you look at the companies out there that do certification and training, right, folks who will come into your organization and train you on Scrum or Kanban, the two most popular agile methods, they have traditionally been focused on engineers and product managers, right? They are now starting to build offerings for business-oriented folks. Yep. We're starting to see agile sessions and, and tracks at conferences like this one, Obviously, people like me are writing books and there are more books coming to market. So these are the signals that um, marketers, this is getting on marketers' radar and that they're transitioning. I think where you see the most traction for Agile, you know, there are certain silos within the marketing function where you see more traction with it. So Social being a big one. Social being a big because one. Because the data's available. Marketing automation being a really big one, right? Because fundamentally, it's about 
testing and validation, and you know, these programs are always running, so you're constantly evaluating the performance of messages that you're sending out, and tweaking them and optimizing them, right? Solutions like the ones, you know, we have uh, a solution in the Oracle Marketing called, called Maximizer, which is just, it is fundamentally an enabler, an enabling technology to allow a marketer to be agile, right? We can do things in the context of our publishing platform, we can show, you know, multivariant, uh, you know, we can run multivariant tests and show them to users and quickly validate what's working and what's not. And so, that's a very different way of working than I think, um, you know, marketers have traditionally adopted. And we talked already about the fact that just bringing in the technology is actually, I, th I think, easier than trying to drive the cultural change. The cultural change is really, really hard. And we're still at the beginning of that process, I think. And your final thoughts, I want to get to the final question here on, on this uh, evolution, the progress bar, if you will, crossing the chasm. Yeah. Um, this is a sea change. So I think a lot of people, yes. we live in the bubble in Silicon Valley, um, but you know, middle of the, of the industry, mm -hmm. middle of America, you know, they're still doing waterfall, which they need, in my opinion, need to move to agile. But yeah. because of the benefits of having a platform and enabling technologies yeah. and, and products, because apps is where the action is, we would agree. Yeah. What is your big um, takeaway from this year uh, in terms of this show and the impact of this platform, this enabling concepts that you guys are pushing for? Yeah. What's the most important thing folks should understand about um, agile, social, yeah. platform, modern so customer experience? We talked a minute ago about the MarTech ecosystem and the fact that overall the ecosystem is still um, you know, there's immaturity for the overall ecosystem, but within that ecosystem, there are some very mature solutions. And um, I think that, particularly for enterprises that are using those more mature solutions, they are now transitioning from this period where they've been very focused on building that technology stack, and they're starting yeah. to think about how do we um, more dramatically make changes to the way that yeah. we work so that we can develop a stronger competency in digital. Now I think that this connects to, if you were to ask me, you know, connecting this back to modern marketing, at what point can a company sort of say, okay, we we're meaningfully <laughs> positioned ourselves. We're modern. We, we are, we are modern. We're modernized. <laughs> yes. What is modern? And so That's a great question. From, from my perspective, I would connect it back to the role that the CMO plays or the marketing or organization plays within the larger company. We, we talked a little bit about the fact that the product management leader has really been empowered over a long period of time, in, in large part because they've adopted Agile and they've, they're working in a different way. So they are serving as the steward of innovation. Yep. The marketer has this aspiration to really serve as the steward of customer experience. Now, Today, we're at a place where most marketers, we're really in the best position to measure and understand the customer experience. But, we have limited influence when it comes to changing those touch points. A lot of those touch points aren't under our direct yeah. purview. Yeah. So we need to get that influence. One way to get that influence is to share the process of the people who have control over those things. That means, when we again, we have Agile, we can <laughs> share project process with project management. We can influence those touch points more. Yeah. That is when the marketer can step up and re truly serve as a steward of customer experience. That's when I would say the, we've sort of reached a modern status, era. A modern era. When, I think you're yeah. onto something. I think, I think the checkbox immediately is, are you agile? That's a quick acid test, yes or no. Yeah, I think that's sure. a fundamental. But I think the user experience is really key and you're seeing the platforms become the, the, the enabler where the apps are just coming out. You can, it's a tsunami of apps and that's an okay thing, but the platform has to be stable. I think that's just an evolution of the role of software from shrink wrap, from downloading on the internet, to yeah. web 2.0, to mobile, to platform. Yeah. Now I'd step back even one level before that, John, and say, are you empirical? At the end of the day, is your culture, is your culture ready to make changes based on what the data says? Because mm -hmm. then it says you're going to go out and get the data, you're going to use the data, and you can take that. And the data has to be good. Yeah. Data yeah. has to be data legit. Data has to be good. Yeah. And, then <laughs> and not if dirty. Because if you are, then you can have that, we talked about this earlier, then yeah. you can have that conversation with the leader and empower yeah. the leader to actually lead Data change. orientation, customer orientation, is a really, those are both critical values that are baked into Absolutely. Agile. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you, you have to test your organization on whether or not they're really able to do those things. If they are, 
then a lot of the other stuff that you're following, you're talking about falls, starts falling a little bit more, yeah. more naturally. Well, Roland, we need to follow up, certainly back in, in uh, Palo Alto in our studio. This is a really, I think, Happy important that. conversation that's worthy of more dialogue. What is a modern organization in this new era of computing where the expectations of the customers and the users and the consumers are at an all-time high, you're seeing the demand and the need for a platform that's truly enabling innovation and value. Certainly great, yeah. great conversation. Thanks for joining us on theCUBE yeah, today and sharing me. the insight as we stay agile, modern here on theCUBE. I'm John Furrier of Theaterverse. Be right back with more after this short break.